Live from Dallas-Fort Worth, this is WFAA News. My mother, Karen Howell Shepard. Somber moments in Oklahoma City this morning as we remember those lost in the bombing of the Murrah Federal Building in 1995. Just one of two tragic events that we remember today. The Oklahoma City bombing happening on the second anniversary of the fiery end to the Branch Davidian siege in Waco. Welcome back to Midday. I'm Mark Iztook. North Texans joined our neighbors to the north this morning to pause in remembering those 168 victims of the Oklahoma City bombing 28 years ago today. That service moved inside due to inclement weather to a church directly across from the site of that bombing. Mourners marking 168 seconds of silence. Family and friends reading the names of all the victims. The bombing is the deadliest act of homegrown terrorism in United States history. And today also marks 30 years since the end of the Branch Davidian siege. This was the scene at Mount Carmel near Waco as cult leader David Koresh and his heavily armed followers refused to surrender to federal agents after 51 days. By the end of it, four ATF agents died along with 82 members of that religious group, including 22 children. We'll have much more coverage of both remembrances on our later newscasts here on WFAA.